Hi LEGO fans! The latest Jurassic Park movie, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, is due to hit movie screens in about a month. And judging by the 14 plus sets LEGO have just released to accompany the movie, they pay too much for the license. Yes, LEGO are really going big on this theme. We've got classic LEGO, we've got Brickheads, we've got LEGO Juniors, and we've even got LEGO Duplo Jurassic World sets. In fact, I'm very tempted to go out and buy the Jurassic World Petting Zoo set from LEGO Duplo. But I digress. LEGO also released this throwback set, and this is much more appealing to me than anything that could have come out of the Jurassic World series. Today, I'm going to be unboxing, speed building, and reviewing set number 75932, Jurassic Park Velociraptor Chase from LEGO Jurassic World. This is a 360 piece set retailing for about $40 and features classic scenes from the original Jurassic Park movie. We've got the control room featuring the RRR, you didn't say the magic word guy. We've also got the embryo storage facility and there's the kitchen area where the kids are chased by the Velociraptor. There's some really cool artwork here and I really like the dinosaur poking his head over the wall. The park count includes four minifigures and said Velociraptor. Minifigures include scientists Alan Grant and Ellie Sattler, and then we've got John Hammond's grandkids Lex Murphy and Tim Murphy. But I was really hoping that LEGO would have spared no expense and given us a John Hammond minifigure. It would have been great to have gotten a likeness of the late great Richard Attenborough. Flipping over to the back of the box, we get a better look at the playset inside. And look, LEGO's trying to upsell us already. Simply buy eight different LEGO Jurassic World sets and you can build your own hybrid. I might give that one a miss. Seriously though, this does look like a great vignette style build. And there are plenty of features from the original movie to keep even the most hardcore fans happy. From the welcome feast prepared by John Hammond, we've got loads of green jello. And I can understand why the vegetarian Lex isn't very happy about that. We can recreate the scene in the kitchen where Tim and Lex are being chased by the Velociraptor, and there's a sliding glass door to keep the Velociraptor contained. There's even a breakaway window for a little here's Johnny action. And we've even got some weapons because everybody knows Velociraptors are afraid of Lego studs. Many of these new Jurassic World sets are based on themes that we've seen before. For example, the Gyrosphere Escape, the T-Rex Transport, and various dinosaur containment facilities. But this is something else, and I'm really pleased that Lego have produced a set for the older fans. With that said, let's get this thing open and see what we've got inside the box. Here's everything that came inside the box. We've got three numbered bags of Lego. Three 16 stud Technic beams that Lego couldn't fit in the bag for some reason. Two instruction manuals. The obligatory sticker sheet. And a boil in the bag Velociraptor. I'm going to go ahead and build Jurassic Park Velociraptor Chase, and today this is going to be a 60 second speed build! And here's a completed set. Build time was about 35 minutes. I'm already in love with this thing. It's brilliant. I've only been playing with this for a few minutes and as you can see, it's really captured my imagination. The minifigures look great and we've got a Velociraptor. Clearly the layout of this set isn't movie accurate, but it gives us three distinct areas in which to play. We've got the main control room, the embryo storage facility, and a small kitchen area where we can play out the Velociraptor chase scene from the movie. This is the main control room where all of the systems in Jurassic Park are maintained and monitored. All of the systems in Jurassic Park are computer controlled and quite fittingly we've got the desk where Dennis the programmer sat. His workstation is beautifully recreated complete with computer screens, keyboard and mouse. On the right screen 
screen we've got a feed from the security cameras monitoring the island. And on the left screen we've got the ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, you didn't say the magic word guy. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Say the magic word. Next to Dennis's desk, there's a red control arm. That's used to unlock the door to the control center. Pulling on the red control arm retracts the pin locking the door. That allows the door to be opened. Maybe not such a great idea. I really like the construction of the door. It looks and feels very solid and it's great fun to have that locking mechanism. Adjacent to the door, we've got a window with the classic Jurassic Park logo on it. That window has a breakaway action, which works a bit like this. Here's Johnny! We've also got the emergency phone system with numeric keypad and a box of accessories. In the box we have an umbrella, walkie-talkie and large wrench. Another really nice feature of this set is the inclusion of a set of step ladders. These are of course used by the gang to climb up into the ducting above the control room and escape the Velociraptor. Stepping through the control room door leads us to the embryo storage facility, which is monitored by a security camera. A stickered 2x4 tile reminds us that the embryo cold storage facility is a restricted area. The dinosaur embryos are protected by this cryogenic chamber which is mounted on a convenient carousel. And it looks like Dennis has left behind the specially adapted can of shaving foam he was going to use to steal the embryos. Although to be fair, the shaving foam can is much smaller than it would need to be to carry those embryos. There are some really nice build techniques being used here, and in particular I really like the use of these horns or tusks used to create railings around the embryo cold storage facility. The final zone in this classic Jurassic Park set is the kitchen area where Lex and Tim nearly get eaten by two hungry velociraptors. Lex is enjoying some tasty green goop, completely unaware of the danger that's coming her way. Thankfully there is a cupboard in which Lex and Tim can hide. Although this is rather a tight squeeze and the minifigures don't really fit in there properly. The kitchen is a little bit on the small side which makes it difficult to pose the minifigures and the velociraptor in a pleasing way, but we do have a few nice touches. There's a printed candy bar element, some leftover green goop, and a little food preparation area complete with skillet, cleaver and spoon, not to mention the obligatory sausage. This is a super nice Lego set that's very well thought out and well executed. But beyond the control room, kitchen and embryo cold storage facility, we also have some awesome minifigures. So before we wrap up, let's take a detailed look at those. Here's the full minifigure selection for the set and this is a very strong lineup. From left to right we've got Alan Grant, Ellie Sattler, Lex Murphy and Tim Murphy. These are all exclusive minifigures to this set and with very few exceptions most of the prints have not been used before. Here's a closer look at Dr. Alan Grant. He's one of the most important characters in the Jurassic Park franchise and the main protagonist from Jurassic Park films 1 and 3. He's dressed in plain khaki pants and then he's got this very detailed print shirt on there. He's got a pair of pockets on the front and this really nice red cravat underneath. Now these are either creases on the shirt or they may even be sweat stains. I do remember Dr. Grant getting rather sweaty in the movie. He's got this great facial print on there. You can see some of the lines around his eyes and mouth and obviously that's because he spent too much time in the desert digging up dinosaurs in the sun. Great hairpiece here, really like the way that's got some, uh, some hair that comes down over his face and if we take that off there is no alternate expression on the back and that's because Dr. Grant is one of the few, in fact the only minifigure in this set that comes with accessories and that most, most notable of accessories being this hat which I'm putting on the wrong way around. There we go, really nice hat, great mould that might be a unique colour, I'm not certain on that, but uh, really nice character. He also comes with another accessory and we have this stud firing gun, which I have to demonstrate because I always do. Uh, here it is and watch out at home. And forgive me for dropping the gun, but that's Dr. Alan Grant. Next we've got Dr. Ellie Sattler, she's the energetic paleobotanist from the movie and she's beautifully dressed here. Now we've got some very elaborate printing on these pants here, you can see we've got a belt on the waistband there with a little bit of metallic detailing for the buckle, printing on the front there and we actually have dual moulded legs. Now I forget whether these are some kind of heavily decorated pants or whether she's wearing cowboy boots. I think it is probably going to be cowboy boots. The torso itself, she's got a blue t-shirt with a tied pink shirt over the top and some more really nice printing around the back there for the creases in the shirt. Really nice hairpiece. I don't think this is an exclusive mold. I've definitely seen something pretty much like this before very recently, although uh, it escapes me which minifigure had that. 
but we do have a dual expression and she's rather more nervous on the back there. So really nice minifigure this. I uh, really like the colours that are used, really like the printing on those boots and that is Dr Ellie Sattler. Moving on to John Hammond's grandchildren, this is Alexis Murphy, otherwise known as Lex. She's got the shorter leg configuration here with these grey blue pants on and a really nice printed top. Uh, that does actually mirror what she's wearing in the movie very nicely I think and you can see there's lots of detailing on there with some darker printing on there for the ties around the neck. Uh, she's got um, almost like a vest top on so you can see the, uh, the flesh tones of her arms coming out of there. Now really nice hairpiece, again I don't think that's exclusive. I'm pretty sure I've seen stuff like that before. I may be wrong and I really should check my facts before filming but on the back there you can see she's got a secondary expression, a really uh, worried expression there and then a very nice expression on the front there. Now this facial print is not exclusive. Most of the minifigures do have exclusive facial prints but not Lex. This is actually used in another Jurassic World set and that's set number 75930. Indoraptor Rampage at Lockwood Estate, that very snappily titled set. And that is the awesome Lex Murphy. And finally here is Lex's little brother Timothy Murphy, otherwise known as Tim. He is an aspiring paleontologist who looks up to Dr Alan Grant. And as you can see he's actually got some fashion tips from Dr Alan Grant here. He's wearing the same khaki trousers, the blue shirt and he's got a cravat there tied around his neck. So uh, yeah definitely looking up to this character here. I think he's read all the books and everything. So yeah really nicely printed top there with the, uh, the hooped shirt underneath and then the cravat around the neck and some really nice detail printing on there as well. Again around the back you can see the uh, tailoring in the shirt and uh, really nice facial expression. I thought this was one that I'd seen before but apparently this is unique to the set and a really nice crisp facial print too with all those freckles. Again around the back we have a rather more worried and concerned expression and a really nice kind of sandy coloured hair piece there. Looks very neat and coiffured and that is Tim Murphy. Moving on, here's the Velociraptor who is causing all kinds of problems for the gang. He is a really nice piece of Lego. I really like these Lego dinosaurs. Starting with the tail, we've got a nice print there on this sand coloured plastic. Uh, a very uh, flexible tail here. You can see it's uh, kind of moulded on that uh, joins here. So we've got flexible plastic joining into harder plastic there. We've got some studs on the back there. So if you want your minifigure to ride on the back of the Velociraptor, you absolutely can. And of course, we've got the Lego compatible feet there. And then we've got these claws. And I dare say you could probably put one of the Lego bar elements through there. Although I don't have one at my side here to try that right now. We've got a mouth that opens up and it does actually shut with quite a satisfying snap. And his head turns through 360 so we've got lots of posability here. The legs are also jointed so we can stand him up in various different ways depending on how we want to position him within the scenery of the set. And of course we've also got poseable arms. It's a really nice thing. I really like playing with these Lego Velociraptors. In case you were wondering, this is not the first time we've had a Velociraptor in a Lego Jurassic Park Lego set. The two raptors you see on the left are Charlie and Echo from the 2015 Lego set 75920 Raptor Escape. That set came out with the first Jurassic World movie and I wish I'd bought more of those sets because they sold out really quickly and became rather collectible. Which is probably why Lego have released at least 14 sets for this new Jurassic World movie. Although these guys all have different colours and prints, they all came from the same Lego mould. So there are various variations of these Velociraptors out there which you can go out and collect. The most notable of which is Owen's favourite trained Velociraptor, Blue. So that was set number 75932, Jurassic Park Velociraptor Chase from Lego Jurassic World. It would have been really easy for Lego to produce something bigger and more elaborate for this set, but I think here they've nailed it. The park count and the price is bang on the money. We've got four great minifigures, loads of recognisable features from the movie, and a Velociraptor. Okay, the kitchen was a little bit tiny, but overall this is a great set that's going to appeal to Jurassic Park fans new and old. It's also a great display piece and it's great fun to play with, so this really does tick all the boxes for a Lego set. So after careful consideration, I've decided I am going to endorse this Jurassic Park set. It's great! Before we wrap up, there's something I can't resist doing. Gotcha! 
I hope you enjoyed this Jurassic Park Velociraptor chase unboxing speed build and review video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. I release two new LEGO review videos every single week, so you'll always find something new, something old or something Jurassic to check out on my channel. Thanks a million for checking out today's review, stay safe and we'll see you on the next build video.